to a field that I played on is, is work. I don't care how talented you are. You know, I guarantee you half of you guys right now are more talented than I ever was. It's just the way it is. You know, I've had 12 knee surgeries, foot surgery, hip surgery, and elbow surgery. But I didn't care. I wanted to be a major league baseball player, and that's what happened. You know, if you guys are playing here, that means you advance to that next level, no matter what it is. So you have the ability. Somebody thought you have the ability to move on to baseball. And if your coach has enough influence for you to come here, that means he's looking for something from you to move on. Right? You know, you guys are bigger, stronger, like faster than I was. It's just how much you want to really put into the game to be good. You know? I will promise you this. You will always screw our game. The game will never screw you. This piece of advice I got from my AAA manager, who was a third base coach, Rick Brennick was his name. My AAA manager in Nashville, and we were playing kind of kind of shitty, you know, and things weren't going real good. And he was the 87 third base coach for the Twins. And I'm playing, and he, he came into clubhouse, and he was really pissed, and started throwing stuff, and then he just stopped. And he made that statement to us across the board. We had a really good team. We were just playing crap. And he said that. The game will never screw you. You'll always screw the game. So that means every time you look in the mirror, how hard did you, what, what, what did you do to make yourself better so you could be better off? It hit me like a ton of bricks here. You know, I was, you know, at that time, I was leading our team in home runs, leading our team in RBIs, hitting 320. And I went, I came home that night, I sat up all night thinking about, okay, what am I going to do to get myself to the big leagues? Because Triple A is great, but who, who wants to be in Triple A? Right? I mean, you know. So that to me is everything. If you if you can say that to yourself every night and you actually mean it, or put it on your locker, so when you walk out, you know, in Notre Dame they say play like a champion and they hit it. How many guys just hit it because it's a thing to hit? Or how many guys go, hmm, okay, let's play like a champion? I played for the New York Yankees in 2002. And Mr. Steinbrenner came into our clubhouse and said, Guys, we're going to go We're going to go to New York with the best 25. We think we have the best 23 players in the room already. And that was Jeter, Posada, Clements, Pettit, Cena. We had two spots left, and I was one of the two spots that they had signed me to come in to play third base with Robin Ventura, and Jason Giambi was going to play first. And Mr. Torrey said that, he goes, we have one goal on our team. What do you think our goal was as New York Yankees in 02? This is the first day of spring training. What do you think our goal was? One goal. He didn't give a damn about anything else. Personal stats, he didn't care. Win the World Series, that's it. down to the bottom line and you're going to win, that's what it's about. And if it's going to be about you, because a lot of this now is about you and advancing, don't screw the game, right? Your work ethic will make an impact on how you do out here, all right? So this crap about losing, you guys are all talented enough to turn this around and become winners and play well the next, how many more games you got? 18, right? That's my best Newt Rockney speech, but it's the truth. I'm telling you right now, as well as I know my own name, two-thirds of you guys have more ability than that. When I played 17 years of pro baseball, and you guys are in college, I would trade every one of you, everything I ever made and everything I have, except my wife, maybe. I'm over married. But you know what that means? It means I got a damn good-looking wife, is what that means. <laughs> and she's from St. Peter, right down the street here. But I would trade everything I have to be your guy's age to give it another shot. That's how much I think what you can do if you have a chance. Okay? Good luck to that, guys. All right? Thanks. Thank you. I know every major league team and every major league team scout. And some of the guys have worked my camp here. It's one phone call from an ex-major leaguer going, I saw a guy in Mankato, Minnesota, that you need to take a look at. It happens just like that.
I was drafted and signed because of my accent from Chicago. Because I get pissed in the dugout at my team and yelled, and I sounded like I was from the south side of Chicago. And I was in Southern California in the scout one. And I know that accent because he was from Chicago. He didn't even know who the hell I was. And then he came out the next day to see it, and then he looked into it, and I was one of our better players. Next year I was drafted. Just never, right? Make an impact for you. Alright? I'll see you guys, yep.